Hello. Rafael, how are you? Hello. My I'm good. Fine, thank you. Where were you? Thank you. <laughs> I'm doing fine. <laughs> Hello, Yolanda. How are you? Look at you. You look so wonderful. Hi, teacher. Hi. It's not too hot tonight, huh? It's not hot? Yes. No, it it's huh? no. No, it's not hot. It's cool. Yeah, very good. Hi, Noemi. Uh, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Oh, I was very busy, but I'm here. You were very, very busy. So that means that now you're not busy. Good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, yesterday we were talking about... Uh, um, I forgot. What were we talking about yesterday, uh, Yolanda? We talk about uh, the adjectives uh, comparative and superlative. Comparative. Um, I, uh, uh, um, the combination of one syllable, two syllables, or two more syllable. the, the, than two. Okay. <laughs> So, and we, we, we saw some rules about uh, when to use uh, more, most, yet whenever there are two more syllables, yes. we uh, learned that the, the rules when there, there is only one syllable. And also when uh, we have a pattern like a, a consonant, a vowel consonant, what to do. Uh, also when the uh, yes. adjective, adjective ends in Y, and when the adjective ends in R, yet we only add the E. The, the, when ends in E, we yes. only add the R. And uh, also, um, let's see what else we learned. Okay. And um, okay. Uh, the regular adjectives. Mm -hmm. To double the, uh, the the consonant and add E R at the end. Okay. Okay. We have the, 10 rules, teacher. Yes, and the regular uh, adjective, right? The regular ones, yes. Like uh, bad, worst, yes. And uh, good, best, yes. Okay, very good, excellent. So those rules, we're gonna be using those rules to answer some questions on the platform. And uh, three of the platform uh, questions are not correct. So I hope you guys uh, find out. I hope you guys were able to to uh, to uh, see which ones are not uh, correct. Okay. So I see Yolanda says, mm, "I didn't know that." Okay, I didn't know that. What happened? Well, we'll find out today. Okay, uh, we're gonna go over the platform, and uh, let me tell you that we're gonna have fun today because we're gonna have a kahoot. Oh my goodness. And it's going to test the Kahoot, it's going to test you on the uh, uh, superlatives and comparative objectives as well. So that is going to increase your knowledge because it's going to make you, you know, if there is something that you were missing from yesterday, today, you will be able to clarify any doubts that you might have. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go to the, to the uh, platform um, before anything else. Um, we're gonna do the exercise uh, number four in, um, let's see, but we're not gonna do just the exercise number four. I think we're gonna do all of them. We're gonna go from exercise one to, um, let's see, second from one, we're gonna go from one to all the way to number four, okay? So just a second, let me, I get this one for you. Okay, let me know if you're able to see uh, the screen. Yes, I see. Okay, thank you. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do a review from section one. So if anybody hasn't finished, remember that we, the platform, we had to um, finish up to chapter 
four or five uh, this week. And uh, on, on the section one, we had uh, the knowledge check uh, 1.4 and it's um, the test or the knowledge check is about uh, uh, in this exercise says uh, you are given some questions in order to answer them you need to choose the correct response to uh, the best the response best suits the question okay so that means that um, we're going to select the best one that uh, suits the question above so question number one is what's seoul like is it an interesting place it's uh, two questions in one right and yes we found out that uh, yes it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly so we are the, answering the, the those two questions yes it is amazing yes what is it all like? It is amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. So are we okay on that one? And then the second question says, do you like your hometown? I remember that we were discussing what a hometown is. Uh, anybody remember what a hometown is? Yes, the place where you you were born yes the place where you were born where you, where you grew up right donde creciste grew up, grew up yes so it says uh, not really yeah that's a it says is a normal for us to answer the question do you like where where you were born uh, not really yeah, i didn't like that uh, neighborhood you know i'm this is my neighborhood now when you move to another place you yes you say that uh, you didn't like your hometown. But in this case, it says, uh, no, not really. The, the first question is, do you like your hometown? The answer is, not really. Why or why not? Why do you like it or why you don't like it? Well, it's beautiful and very clean. It has not really, I'm sorry, it's too small. That's the reason why he doesn't like it. And it is really boring. Why is boring for him? Maybe he's a, a teenager, right? Or uh, he's uh, around uh, 17, 18, 19, and he likes to party. And maybe he was uh, the place where he was grown, uh, growing. Um, there are no, no stores, no uh, main streets. It's very quiet. Yeah, I like quiet places. You know, I turned it. Now that I'm, I'm older, I like uh, quiet uh, places. And, and uh, but when I was young, I, you know, I was so noisy. But so he said that that's the reason why he doesn't like because it's too boring. It's too small. Okay. And then uh, we have number three. It says, uh, "What's Sydney like? What's Sydney like? This is what is Sydney like? I've never been there." Nunca he estado ahí y a qué se parece Sydney, ¿verdad? He said, oh, really? Nunca he estado, I have never been there. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches, okay? That's number three. That's, that's the one we did it together. Now, help me with number four, um, Yolanda. you ever been to Sao Paulo? Uh, yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has an excellent restaurant. Okay, there's only one thing that I need to help you with, uh, Yolanda, and I, I will ask the rest of your uh, uh, um, the rest of the, the, the participants and see if they if they uh, spot it where. We need to help you with. Um, did somebody was listening when Yolanda was reading this sentence and can tell me what did she miss? She she read it uh, pretty good, but it's one word that she mispronounced. Which one is that? Anybody? Crowd you. Yes, crowded, yes. 
Uh, I was explaining yesterday that uh, whenever we have the ED, it has uh, three sounds. Uh, the, it, and t. Yes. In this case, uh, since uh, it ends with a D, if either D or T, if the, if the verb ends in T or D sound, then the ED sounds like a id. In this case, it's crowded. Uh, crowded. Yes, crowded. Crowded. Very good. Excellent. Good job, participants. Very good. Okay, so that uh, was a uh, uh, knowledge 1.4 knowledge check. Now let's go to um, 1.7. Um, Rafael, can you please help me with number one? In this case, we're going to read the sentence and choose the correct conjunction. Conjunction, okay? The conjunctions are words that we use to connect two words, right? And or but. Now we will see if you remember what uh, is the use of and and what is the use of but. Go ahead, please, Rafael. Okay. Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. Mm -hmm. Taipei is very nice and everyone is extremely friendly. Okay, so what do we what is the use of and the word and uh, Rafael? Uh, because the use of it. We use and yes, yes, but what is the use of the word and is to contradict or is to add information to it? No, because it's add. Yes, it's to, we use it to add information to, to something, right? To the information already uh, said it. For, for example, I can say, um, I like uh, pizza and hamburgers. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm adding to my food, I'm adding pizza plus hamburger, right? It's like saying plus hamburger. But if I, if I want to contradict that, I like uh, pizza, that's, uh, I like pizza, but it is too greasy. Yes, I like it, but it's too greasy. So, but I use it to contradict what I have already said before. Very good, excellent. Okay, um, Noemi Ramirez, can you please help me with uh, number two? Okay. The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. Yeah. The, okay. answer, the answer is the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around though. Okay. The streets are crowded. Yolanda, how do you say Crowded. crowded. Yes, no. Crowded. Thank you. So Noemi is crowded. Yes. The streets okay. are crowded. It's easy to get around though. Yes. Okay. Though. The streets are crowded. Very good. So what is the word though? What is the word though saying in that uh, sentence? Anybody? Um, anybody? Anybody? Sin embargo. Yes. Uh huh. Sin embargo. Yes. So it's, it's, it's telling me that even though the streets are crowded, yes, I can get around, even though. Okay. Además, que sea así. So even though. Yes, sin embargo. Very good. Thank you, Yolanda. Okay. I need um, uh, Elvis, number three, and Dagoberto, number four, please, and Luis Alonso, number five. Yes, teacher, the tree, <clears throat> the Remember. weather is nice. Mm -hmm. The weather is nice. Summer gets very hot and whoever. <clears throat> the answer is the weather is nice. Summer gets very hot, whoever. Okay, very good, excellent, very good. Thank you, Elvis. Hey, can somebody tell me uh, what words uh, can we help with uh, Elvis Abrego? Yes. Can somebody tell me how can we help uh, Elvis Abrego 
with the words that uh, are misspelled or However. Mis mispronounced. Yes. However, right? It's however. 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 How. How. However. However. How. However. Ever. Yes. However. Not whoever. What is the other one? Um, however. however. How. However. Thank you. Yes. However. And what is the other one? The other however. word? Cristian Muñoz? Whether. Yes. Did you hear any other word that we need to help him with? Summers. Okay. Summers. Okay. The word that uh, I want to emphasize is uh, T-H-E. Yes, remember that word is never pronounced the. The weather is nice. Is the or is the? When is that the we uh, pronounce the the? When it sounds like a the and not like a the. In what situation, um, Dragoberto? Oh, you have the microphone. <laughs> if the next word is uh, with consonant, we say that. That very good. Uh huh. And if the if next word is with uh, vowel, yes, uh, very. we say did v. Yes, very good. So whenever we have a, 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 a the words and is a, is a followed by a consonant sound, then it will sound like a the. But if the word that follows uh, starts with a, a vowel sound, then it will be pronounced the. For example, I told you that uh, the bun the apple. Yeah, the apple. Apple starts with a vowel a. Uh. So it sounds the apple and the banana. Banana starts with a consonant B. So it sounds the banana. Okay. So that's the, 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 the rule that we need to pay attention to. Okay. Thank you. Now, number four. Uh, shopping is great. You have to bargain in the markets. Uh, Answer, shopping is great, but sí, but yes. Shop, shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the market. Yes, you have to bargain, bargain, bargain. Yes, shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the markets. Yes, so even though it, it is great, but uh, you you are not gonna pay what the, the the people who are selling that place is asking you for, yeah. So bargain is regatear, okay? Bargain. Okay. But you in have this to... case, mm -hmm. this shopping is great. Is uh, big shopping. Mm -hmm. It's positive, but you have to bargain in the marketplace. It's contradicting the shopping. It's great. So great is uh, fabuloso, yes. Yeah. Ir de compras uh -huh. es fabuloso. Sí, así, así lo entendía. Yes, pero... ir de compras es fabuloso, pero o sea, tienes que regatear en el mercado. O sea, ahí sí, vea, depende. Si el que va a comprar le gusta regatear, le va a gustar. Le va a decir, y poder regatear. Yeah. Very good. Number five. Luis Alonso, Mendoza, Lara, please. Uh, the food is delicious. It's not too expensive. And but uh, answer, the food is delicious. And it's not too expensive. Okay. The food is delicious and it's not too expensive. 
Yeah. Expensive. Yes. Yeah. Not expensive. And N is not too expensive. Yes. Okay. We're gonna work on the on the fluency. Yes. Uh, with you. Um, we're gonna work on the fluency. So we're gonna read it like this. The food is delicious. Say it. Echo me. The food is delicious. The food is delicious. And it's not too expensive. And it's not too expensive. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Good job. Now do it on your own. Read it. Read it like this. The food is delicious is, and it's not too expensive. The food is delicious and it's not too expensive. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay. Very good. Okay. So that was... Uh, um, Let's see, 1.7. Now let's go to 1.12. And this one, complete this conversation using can, can't, should, and shouldn't. Those are moral words. Okay, Walter Vasquez, number one, please. I can't decide where to go on my vacation. Very good. Uh, Christian Muñoz, next, B. You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. Very good. Yolanda, number two. Uh, I am planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I should go? Very good. Uh, Vanessa, number two. Uh, I'm sorry, B. You should go anytime. The weather is nice all year. Okay. Um, now let's see. Rafael, did she say the why it's not correct to say the weather? The weather. No. Yes. No. The weather. The weather. Why? Because it's star with consonant with a consonant uh, sound right the, the the word that follow is uh, it start with the consonant sound so it's the weather is nice very good thank you thank you very much and thank you for the reader as well okay let's go to the uh number Pero debería de... no, sí, sí, sí. Debería de hacer? Okay, okay. Okay, number number um, um uh, okay, number 3, uh Oscar and uh B Mauricio Morales. Should I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? Very good. Mauricio? No. You should definitely use the subway. It is it is fast and effects efficient. Very good, very good. Okay, Ada Gabriela, number four, y Andrea Sosa B. Okay, thank you. I little bit, cierto. Yes, number okay. four. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, where I get so nice jelly in Bangkok. Okay, can you read it again, please? Okay, where I get some nice Jelly in Bangkok. It's missing a word. Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? Yes, where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? Very good, excellent. Now B, please. Okay. You should miss the weekend. Okay. 
you should miss the weekend market is the best place for bargains. Bargain, yes. Okay. So over here we're missing the, the negative. It's not should, it's shouldn't. shouldn't. Now, read it again. Okay. You shouldn't miss the weekend market. Is the best place for bargains. 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 Very bargains. good. Very good. Number five, Monica Mungia. Please. Uh, what can I see from the Eiffel Tower? Tower? Yeah, tower. Very good. Tower. Uh, uh -huh. What can I see from the Eiffel Tower? Okay, tower. Very good. Andrea Sosa, B, please. Okay, letter B. Mm -hmm. You can see all of Paris. But in back where you can see anything. Okay, make sure that the, the T at the end of the negative sounds is, is very noticeable. Um, you say, it should read, but in bad weather, you can't see anything. Okay, try it again, please. Okay. You can see all of Paris, but in bad weather, you can't see anything bad weather yes bad bad very good excellent good job, okay. good job. thank you okay uh, now that was uh, 112 right one second please One second. Okay, now we had two point six. On two point six, we have read the following question, write the best advice. Remember, we use the word should for advice for each health problem. Remember to use the infinitive complement you do not need to write what is in brackets. So you do not need to write some vitamin C, only the answer. Uh, Yolanda, number one, please. Chrysia, number two. Ada, Gabriela, number three. And Denise, Grisel, number four, please. What should I do for I do for a sore throat, it's important to take some vitamin C. Very good, thank you. What should I do for a fever? It's a good idea to drink lots of liquid. Very good, good, excellent. Hello? Hello? No? Okay. Karina Lisset, number three, please. What should I do for a burn? It's sometimes helpful to put. Some ointment on it. Very good, very good. Uh, Monica Munguia, number four. Marina Sanabria, I, number five. I want to say the number four. Okay, go ahead, please. What should I do for to teach? It's important to see a dentist. Okay, what should I do for a toothache? Toothache. Toothache. No. Not a ache. ache, ache, con K, ache. To take. Very good. What What should I do for a toothache? Okay. 
What should I do for a two take? Two takes. It is important to see a dentist. Okay, very good. Okay, next please. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to get some medicine. Okay, uh, what should I do for a cough? Cough. The G H oh. it sounds oh. like a like F. Oh. Cough. 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 Yes. Oh. What should I do for a cough? Read it again, please. What should I do for a cough? It's a good idea to get some medicine. To get some medicine. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay, now we have a 2.11 and 2.11, we have a- Oh, teacher, I have very bad signal. You have very bad, I'm sorry? Signal? I have very, very bad my internet right now. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, let's uh, complete yeah. this conversation with the modal verbs can, could, may, have, try, suggest, or should. Uh, Elvis Abrego, number one. Ada Gabriela B. Okay. <clears throat> may I help you? Okay. May I help you? Help you. Say it, please. Elvis. Sorry? Say it, please. Or, May I uh, help you? May I help you? May I, may I help you? May I help you? May I help you? Very good. That's better. Okay. Christian Munoz, B, please. Yes. Can I? Yes. Can I have something for itchy eyes? Very good. Very good. And Luis Alonso, A, please. Uh, sure. I <laughs> sure I suggest a bottle of a eye drops. Okay, sure. I suggest a bottle suggest of a, eye drops. Suggest a bottle of eye drops. Eye drops. Very sure. Good. I suggest a bottle of eye drops. Eye drops. Yes. Very good. Okay, now number two, uh, Rafael and uh, Yolanda B. What do you have for for sure mus muscle? Okay, what do you have for sore muscles? Muscles. For sore muscles. Yes, yeah, sore muscles. You should try this ointment. It's excellent. It's excellent. Very good, very good. Uh, Karina, number three, and Ada Gabriela A, please. May, may I have a box of bandage, please? Yes, may I have a box of bandages? Bandages. 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 Read it again, please. <laughs> yes, uh, can you? <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. May I help? May I have a box? May I have? <laughs> Yeah, May I have a book? Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a second. Yeah. Let's see. One second. 
Is Ada. Ada Gabriela, yes, okay. Fine. Teacher, I don't see the screen. Uh, Ada, just give me a second, so. Just give me a second uh, so Karina can uh, read here. Okay, go ahead now. May I have a box of bandages, please? Remember, bandages. Bandages. Mm -hmm. May Band I have a box of bandages, please? Yes, okay. Elvis Abrego? A, please. Yes. Let me see. <clears throat> try, try some of this herbal tea. This very relax. No, relax. It's, it's number three A. Um, Elvis. This one. Uh, right okay. Here. Three. Mm -hmm. the, the other oh, sorry. A. Yeah, the other day. <laughs> um, okay. Um, what do you make for insomnia? Insomnia? Elvis, estás viendo la misma screen que yo estoy viendo? Yeah. Yes. Um, the letter A, the is and what and what do you for insomnia? Uh huh. And what is the 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 verb ah. the over here? How? Okay. Yes. And what do you have for insomnia? You got it right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Elvis. Marina Sanab. Marina Sanabria, can you please read uh, B? Okay. Try some of the herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Okay. Okay. Whenever you, we have the um, the sound uh, for the H, this is like, uh, yeah, when you say hello, hello, how are you? See? So this is not a, the exception to the rule. This one has an H, so it should sound herbal. Herbal. Yeah. Herbal. Yes. So read it again, please. Try some of this herbal tea. Very very good. Very relaxing. Very relaxing. Good job. Oh my goodness. You're wonderful. Very good. Okay. So that will be number 211. And then we have the listening part. Let's see if we can do a number. One second, please. Okay, we have 3.4. And this one, we're going to use uh, right responses to show agreement with these statements. Do not use periods on your answer. Agreement is the, yes, I agree, I, I accept it. Okay, so remember, neither, so can I, so do I. Hope you remember, you still remember. Okay, number one. Uh, Oscar Alexander, number two, Denise Grisel, and number three, Andrea Sosa, please. Number one, I'm not crazy about French food, neither am I. Very good. Okay. Please, go ahead. Okay, I can eat any kind of food, so can I? I can eat any kind of food, so can I. 
So can I. Very good. Okay, next. I think Mexican food is delicious. So do I. So do I. You are agreeing. So I think Mexican food is delicious. So do I. Yeah, so do I. También yo. Yo también. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. Very good. Uh, okay. Karina Lisette, number four, and Luis Alonso, number five, and Christian Muñoz, number six, please. Four. Yes. I can see. I'm sorry. I can stand. I can stand greasy food. Neither can I. Okay, I can't. I can't stand greasy food. Neither can I. Okay, go ahead. I can't. I can't stand greasy food. Neither can I. Very good. Next, please. Oh, I don't like salty food. Neither, neither do I. Okay, I can't. I don't like salty food. Neither do salt. I. Neither do I. Yes, read it again, please. Neither do I. I can't. No, I don't like uh, self, salty. Mm -hmm, salty. Salty. I don't like salty food. Neither do I. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, now, Oscar, the Marina Sanabria, number six, and Oscar, eh, let's see. I have uh, Vanessa Los Angeles, number seven, and Rafael, number eight, and Yolanda, number nine, please. Number six. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm in the mood for something spicy. So am I. So am I. So am I. Very good. Next. Um, <clears throat> seven. Uh, I'm crazy about Korean food. I am too. I am too. Very good. Next. I don't enjoy fast food very much. Neither do neither do I. Very good. I always eat healthy food. So do I. Very good. Mauricio Morales, number 10. You have your mic off. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, sorry, sorry. That's okay. I can't eat seafood neither can i i can't eat seafood neither can i very good neither excellent cannot. very good excellent so that was... teacher yes ma'am oh, okay i i want to see neither and my the first i put this answer and it's wrong neither am i neither am i mm -hmm. Neither am I. Okay, I try it. Make sure that there is no spaces. In this exercise, the number 10 was that I made. <laughs> yes, Neither can I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In many ways, I was trying to answer. Two answers. Two answers. Okay. No. In many, in many times, in many I times. was trying to answer. Oh, two. Yeah, like 20, 20. Yeah. To answer it. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm glad yeah. to hear that. But now you have the answer, right? Very good. <laughs> yeah. Thank okay. you, Yolanda, for helping me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, very good. Now let's see number 311. 311. Read the following conversation. Choose between the options given. So what are the options given? Will and would. Let's try it. Uh, number one, Vanessa. 
Number two, Rafael. Number three, Karina. Number four, Luis Alonso, please. Okay, teacher, number one. What would you like to order? I have the fried chicken. I, I'll have the fried, fried the chicken. The fried chicken. Yes, mm -hmm. very good. Next, please. Would you like rice or potatoes? Please. Would, 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 would you like? I, yes. you, you're okay. I would like, I would like potatoes, please. Okay, Chrysia, number five. Yolanda, number six, and Mauricio. No, Mauricio, the other one. Yeah. Mauricio, Hi. number seven. Mm, I didn't see. Number five, please. What kind? What kind of potatoes will will you like? May my share. Bacon or French fries? Okay, in this case, mashed, mm. mashed, 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 baked, mashed, baked, baked, baked. Or, yes, or French fries. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good. I like mashed potatoes. Okay, very good. Mauricio? Will, will that be all for now? Yeah, would, uh, would that be all for now? Would that be all for now? Very good. Thank will you. that be all for now? Very good. It sounds very good, Mauricio. Very good. So that was um, number 11. Just a second. Now, Oscar is going to help me on the other one. This is the uh, the uh, the midterm. Okay, this is this will be the midterm. I can get to the. This is the number four. This one we have a 4.6 knowledge check. On this one, it says uh, complete question one to five with comparatives and question six to ten with superlatives. Use the ad adjectives, adjectives given to you in brackets. So the adjective that, that has been given to us is small, high, crowded, large, a famous, high, long, expensive, deep, and dry. Let's see. Okay, number one, Walter Vasquez, please. Which country? Which country is called or Vatican City? I'm sorry, which country is? Is it smaller? It's smaller. Mon Big. Mm -hmm. Monaco or Vatican City? Yes, very good. Vanessa, number two, Luis Alonso, number three, and Oscar Alexander, number four. Okay. Um... Which water fire, Niagara Falls or Angel Falls? Okay. This one says, uh, which waterfall, which waterfall? Waterfall. Yes, waterfall. Waterfall. It's higher. Okay. Niagara Falls. It's higher. 
Niagara. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> okay, uh, which waterfall is Niagara Falls or Angel Falls? It's higher. Right? Teacher. Yes, ma'am. Is it necessary to uh, add falls in the uh, in the names? Yes, Niagara or, Falls. Is Niagara. Is possible to say Niagara or Angel? No. no, no, porque Niagara Falls is la catarata de Niagara. Angel is the nombre de las, de las, de las cataratas. Por ejemplo, las cataratas de Huayua. Si nosotros solo decimos uh, eh, Huayua, no sabemos de lo que estamos hablando. O si solo decimos cataratas, ¿de dónde? ¿Cuál es el nombre de las cataratas? En este caso, Niagara es el name y Falls es cataratas. Las cataratas mm. de Niagara. Las cataratas de Ángel. Mm. Mm -hmm. ¿Y Waterfall? ¿Waterfall? No es catarata. Water, no. ¿Cuál es? Waterfall es, este es caídas de agua. Ah, la caída de agua. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which waterfall? ¿Cuál es caídas de agua? ¿Cuál caída de agua es más grande? La, las uh, cataratas de Niágara o las cataratas de Angel. Ok. Good question, good question. Number three. Um, which city is more crowded? Hong Kong or Cairo? Yes, remember crowded. 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 Yes. Which city which is city more crowded? More crowded? Hong Kong or Cairo or Cairo. Very, very good. Oscar? Four. The like a sigue, number. Uh, no, number four. Mm -hmm. uh, which lake is larger? The Caspian Sea or Lake Superior? Yes, very good. Excellent. Now we have uh, Noemi and Dagoberto Rodriguez. Five and six. Number five. Which play is more famous? Tag Mahal or the Great Wall of China? Okay. Which place is more famous? Tag okay. Very good. Number six. Which is the highest? The highest. Uh, Mount Aconcagua, Mount Everest or Mount Fuji. Fuji, very good, very good. Number seven. Okay. Who wants to help me with number seven? Karina Lisette and Rafael number eight. What is the longest river in the world? The Nile or the Amazon? Amazon? Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. Ahora en esta le voy a preguntar, ¿es esta correcta? Y Amazon. ¿Es esta correcta? ¿Qué es the longest? ¿Es un superlative o un comparative? Superlative. ¿Y cuándo es que usamos el superlative? Cuando son más de dos. Cuando son más de dos. ¿no? Right? Cuando son más de dos, ¿cuántos tenemos aquí? Two. 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 Entonces tenemos que usar un comparative, pero si usamos un comparative, no está correcto. Ya, yeah, si usamos un comparative, no está correcto. Entonces, pero, pero aquí tenía que ser un comparative. Number. Yes. ¿Mm? Teacher, but in this case, the, the two rivers in the image are the 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 biggest in the world, mm -hmm. the first and the second place, uh, uh -huh. then, and then in this case the yeah. Amazon, I think that is the the longest of the world. Mm -hmm. Yes, hasta ahí estaría bien, hasta ahí estamos bien, pero ya cuando le doy dos opciones ya no estamos bien. So if we if we have what is the longest river in the world? That, ahí está bien, ya. Yeah. Yeah. 
y le doy, eh, o sea, le voy a dar tres opciones si quiero usar un, un, un eh, superlative. ¿Ya? Yeah. Uh, but, but if they have the first in the second place in the world, uh, we, I think that we can use the superlative if they have the, fir the first in the second place in the world. Uh, but if they are third or fourth place in this case, we don't, we don't, we can't use uh, the superlatives. Uh, I, I don't know, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever you have two options, uh, when all you have to do is, use is, is comparative. So which one is, is, is uh, longer, Nile or the Amazon? Oh, the Amazon. Now, which one is the river is the longest in the world? Amazon. Yeah, in this case. ¿Se acuerdan de, las, de los ejercicios que hicimos ayer? Teníamos tres, ¿verdad? Y eh, nosotros decíamos, ¿quién es la más, el, el día más, ¿se acuerdan de los días más hot? Eh, teníamos Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Which one is, is, is more is, is hotter, hotter. Teníamos dos entre dos, lunes y martes. But, decíamos, but Wednesday is the hottest of the three. ¿Sí? Pero si yo agarro dos, Monday and Tuesday, which one is the hottest? No puedo decir así porque solo tengo dos. Ahí usaría un comparative. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ahora vamos number eight. Y, y number, number nine Ve aquí, tenemos a uh, what is the deepest ocean in the world, the Pacific or the Atlantic? And which is the driest desert in the world? Uh, But it's, it's the same, the mm -hmm. same, the, the problem, same. no? Yeah, mm -hmm. same. Yeah. 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 And uh, so we will say that um, the, the Atacama, For example, the Atacama Desert is, uh, is uh, let's see, is drier than, um, than uh, uh, Mojave Desert. But Sahara Desert is the driest. Yes, the driest of uh, the three. In that case, right? But we, we need to reward it. This one. But uh, as long as you understand that the driest, um, the, the superlative, we use the superlative for to, uh, to see which one is better among more than two, and uh, the comparative is between two, then we're okay. Okay? Sure, but I do not agree, because you in, in your, ex, in your uh, example, uh, mm -hmm. yesterday, mm -hmm. you told us that What is the wettest month mm -hmm. of the year in El Salvador? Okay, mm -hmm. but yes. in this case, uh, uh -huh. we don't have a comparative. Oh, I understand you. Yeah. Oh. No, <laughs> acabo de, de ver el, mi error. Okay. <laughs> okay. What, what is the wettest? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so this one it will be number seven, number eight will be uh, the most expensive, expensive. Why did we use the most expensive over here? Can somebody answer the, the question? The most expensive. Because it has more, uh, two, more than two syllables. Syllables, yes, very good. More than two syllables. Very good, excellent, good job. All right. Okay, so that's it uh, for now, I guess. Uh, well, we have, uh, let's see this one. Now let's check. Uh, we have 4.3. Now write the question to this answer. Remember to use how. So the, the answer is Angels, Angels Falls is uh, 972 meters, 3,212 feet high. So what would be the question to this one?
How mm -hmm. high is angle? Okay. How high is angels? Falls. How high is angel falls? Angel falls is 979 meters. Yes, very good. Next one. Anybody? How, how big is California? How big is California? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. California is above 403,970 square kilometers. Is that, that would be, um, how big is California? The answer to the question, how big is California? California is above 403,972 square kilometers. Uh, how big is Yes, it's correct. Yes. It's correct. How big? Let's see if California wants the uppercase. Okay. The Nile is uh, 6,670 uh, 6, kilometers long. How long is the Nile? How long? is the Nile. No, we should put Nile River. Huh? Okay, and the number uh, four, Washington DC gets up to about 32 degrees Celsius in the summer. How hot is Washington DC in summer? In the summer. Okay. In this knowledge checks, I put the same, but what's wrong for me? Okay, we will find out. Now <laughs> let's let's see how how hot is Washington? Is that DC gets up to thirty-two Celsius degrees Celsius Celsius degree? How hot? In the summer, how hot? How hot is Washington DC in the summer? How hot Washington DC gets in the summer? Okay. okay, everybody has the same answer. This one. Okay. You don't put question mark. Yes. Uh huh. How hot? How hot is Washington D.C.? Maybe. Um, you need to use a capital letter. Capital D.C. In Washington. Yes. In, in D.C. And uh, and question mark. Okay. So how how high is uh, Angel Falls? How big is California? How long is the Nile River? Summer. Okay, we can change this one to uppercase DC. And uh, there's also a comma over here. Okay. 